Hi everybody, we're here at 20 Bowen Avenue. This is the final video and the closing is at one o'clock. I think we're at the 12.30 hour. So we're finished with this house. The sod's in, the landscaping's in, the deck's done. Oh, it looks so pretty. So let's go and look at the full breadth of this house. So even though this is the final video for 20 Bowen Avenue, we are building a house just exactly like it. I believe the color on the outside is a little different, but the inside is the same. And that will be directly behind it where you see that mound of uh, dirt back there. So that's 11 Stanton Avenue. The guys are working today across the street at 21 Bowen Avenue. That house is coming in, so is 11 Stanton. And here's a sample of how we make our homes. We have a two car, a uh, concrete driveway and there's a shed and like I said we do these custom steps and a deck on this row of homes which are all multi-section homes or double wides in the cultural vernacular. So from here on you're gonna see this house as if it's 11 Stanton and the reason I'm saying that is that is because 20 Bowen already sold. However, we're also building another one at 3009 Fire Road. Now don't quote me on it, but I think Fire Road might also have a Stanton Avenue address. We're gonna try and change it because the house fronts Stanton Avenue rather than Fire Road. So you've got two other houses exactly like this on the inside that are ordered and coming. If you're super interested, hang on, watch the rest of the video, and you can go to our website and start the intake process. So it's my home in harborcrossings.com. Wow, we've had a lot of people look at this house and one lucky homeowner was the buyer. And we're just thrilled to show this house for the last time before they move in today. So here we are with the living room. It's got a living room fan, two double windows, which are thermal pane. You've got this barn board accent wall, and you've got cable ready jack below it so they can put their flat screen TV on that wall. This is papered um, VOG wall, and it's uh, easy to maintain, wipe off, it's also moisture wicking. So the manufacturer is Redmond Homes. It's a division of Champion Homes. And they also provide these pretty valances and the shades. So that's the living room. And the living room is carpeted and the kitchen has vinyl flooring. This area here is for your kitchen table. And again, you've got that really trendy barn board there against the wall and we um, ordered this house with this pretty blue. Now we saw this house at the home show that the manufacturer does every year, probably three or four years ago now, and I was dying to order this house. It was absolutely spectacular with these beautiful white cabinets and then the accent of blue. You've got four stainless steel appliances, your dishwasher, there you go. You've got this pretty glass tile that runs all along. Here are the keys for the Anderson storm doors that we um, put into the house. Here is this enormous kitchen sink, stainless steel on the front. Uh, it's a farm sink. It's got the spout, the water runs, really lovely, and a gooseneck faucet. And again, a little window behind. I have all the shades closed so I can videotape better without the light coming in for now. Here is your Whirlpool oven and stove. And here is your microwave. All of the appliances are Whirlpool. These are all national name brands. And um, let's take a peek inside the cabinet. They're also adjustable. You see the little air, little knobs that hold it up there. And let's see what's in the cabinets, nothing here. Sometimes their warranty books are there. On this side of the island, you've got this very thick, um, I think it's Marulo Pine is the name of this um, countertop. And I don't remember the name of this countertop, but they really blend together very lovely. And with the floor. So then you've got the island, and there's a lot of storage here. Here's all my 
uh, paperwork to give to the homeowner. Again, another drawer. And I believe, let's see, I'm gonna go around the whole, here's a spot for you to put stools here. And here it is. I was looking for the electric in the island. So you could actually put an appliance here and do baking and mixer or whatever you need to do to cook for your beautiful family. Here's a side-by-side -side Whirlpool refrigerator with this amazing spout for ice and water. Here's all the inside. Really lovely. Let's take a look at the other side. It's got an ice maker and then you can get the ice right in the door. Really, really turned out nice. So let's go take a look at the master bedroom first. So the bedroom is on this side of the house to give the parents a little privacy. So that's another feature wall on that side. And it's a contrasting color to the other um, wall board, uh, wall covered board. And again, a window. You've got a great place to put your headboard there. You could do queen, you could do two twins, you could do a big king. You've got your um, cable jack on the other side. You've got LED lighting throughout the whole house. This bedroom is carpeted. Now we're gonna go into the master bedroom. This is a ceramic sink. Again, the same cabinets and um, countertop as what's in the kitchen. You've got your LED framed mirror. Actually, yeah, is that, yeah, it's LED framed. That is really lovely. That's great for looking in the mirror. Really brighten you up so you can see what's troubling you if you have anything in your eye or whatever. Here is a more private area for your commode. Let's take a peek inside the cabinet. That's very deep, great for linens, towels. You've got your shower stall. This is a one piece fiberglass unit with two seats. And we added that transom window up there to give you some light and yet still some privacy. So here, close the door. And you've got a really awesome area. You can even put something in that back corner there. A lot of room. Now you're gonna be blown away by this awesome walk-in closet. So it's a wire rack and it starts on this wall, turns the corner, goes all the way around. I'm gonna explain that in a second. And here's more shelving for sweaters or jeans or whatever you like to stack. And here is the data plate. This tells you how this house was made to the specifications necessary and set by the federal government for New Jersey. So here's a serial number on the house and all the appliances that are in the house if there ever had to be a repair. That is called the data plate. Now, during the closing, I make a copy of that and I give it to the homeowner so that they have that information. So again, here's the drawers, here's the cabinets. They've got the European pools. Um, that is an emergency valve there for turning off the water. And there's a whole house one also. There's also one of those underneath each sink. So there would be one in the kitchen underneath those cabinets there. And now we're gonna to go to the other bathroom, the hall bathroom, and this would be shared by these two bedrooms. One, two, we'll take a look at those in a second. In the meantime, I wanna show you this other little area with um, great shelving for putting, I don't know, other things you'd like for this bathroom. So here, the shutoff valve is under there for this bathroom and the sink, I should say. You've got electric and two mirrors and the LED lights. And this has a one piece fiberglass tub and it's uh, really easy care. There you have the same um, transom window above and um, ample room on either side of the commode. People always ask for that, isn't that interesting? And you've got um, a really great view here from this side. Again, it's the same floor as what's in the kitchen. And you've got these really lovely two paneled doors that make the place seem really upscale. Very elegant. All right, let's take a look at this bedroom. And it's a perfect size for a study or a child or a guest or another little room. Sometimes people make a little den back here with their TV in a more private area. So in this corner, we have um, 
the hot water heater in one of them and that's the closet. So let's go look at the hot water heater first. It's rather large. I think it's the 40 gallon one. And it's, look at that, it's tucked in behind the kitchen. Great location. So we give these access doors so you can um, get to it easier. Sometimes they're in the closet, so we try to get away from that. Here's the two screens for the Anderson storm doors that we installed. And again, the wire rack for this closet. And then the same little be bedroom is over here. It's a great uh, another room. And again, all the bedrooms have um, the cable ready jack. So that's on this wall near the ground there. Great paper again, love neutral colors. Really matches with the carpeting. Really, really pretty. And let's take a peek in the closet. Here you go. Runs the length of this little area. Plenty of depth. So we are super excited for this new homeowner to move in today, but don't be sad. We have the exact same house Hey, wait, I forgot the laundry room. Let's go check that out and then I'll show you where 11 Stanton's gonna be built. So here's the utility door. It's got venting on the bottom. Now this is a true utility room. It's got your 100 amp panel there. I'm gonna close the door behind me. I'm gonna show you the furnace. So your central air conditioning and your uh, forced hot air run through this miller. And then this is area for their uh, own washer and dryer. So the manufacturer doesn't provide the, these appliances, you have to go get it yourself. And um, this is a shutoff valve for the whole house. This is the connections for the um, washer. And then there's the venting and the gas for the dryer. And again, the wire rack above. Here's the back door. Here's your 100 amp. Everything's labeled so they can find which fuse works for what. So out the window there, we have the same house being built and uh, I'll put in the notes when this house is gonna be available, but you can also go to our website and see that. Let's take a look outside. Again, here's our Anderson storm door that we put in and a little landing and the fiberglass steps and we've seated the backyard and we sodded the front. There's your central air conditioning. Very exciting to be able to build another house just like this. We've had so many people wanting this home. And this um, couple moved very quickly, filled out the 15 pre-qualifying questions, filled out the application, got their financing, and now the day has arrived for them to have the American dream of home ownership. This is just really exciting. Here's the thermostat and uh, you can actually program that. I turned it off for the video so I could talk to you and it's nice and quiet. So this is super wonderful to have you guys visit us here on our YouTube channel at Harbor Crossings Manufactured Home Community. We are 6735 Egg Harbor, T oh, oh my goodness, uh, Black Horse Pike in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Um, we are minutes from the beaches, from Atlantic City. Most days when I'm doing videos, you can hear the seagulls squawking outside. This is just a lovely resort area with lots of employment. There's the university nearby, and um, Stockton has moved into more areas of Atlantic City and made it really viable for people to um, attend school there. So um, come check it out drive through our community anytime you like. We only see people by appointment to tour them on any houses that we have available by answering the 15 pre-qualifying questions. So that's where you have to start. And we would love to have you answer the questions so we can give you a tour. And then after that, if you're still interested, you fill out the resident application. I'll give you some resources for financing for land lease communities. So, Harbor Crossings is a land lease community. That means you own the house and um, Harbor Crossings owns the land. So you don't have to worry about taxes. You don't have to worry about um, 
It just makes it more affordable to have a land lease home. Um, and we kind of partner together. Each tenant has to take care of their lot and protect the water riser. We're a little bit like a little city. We provide the streets, the infrastructure, the utilities, the water and sewer, and then the rest, um, uh, you have your own home. You can do as you wish on the outside, in the inside. On the outside, you just put it in writing and get permission. It's a wonderful partnership to make um, everyone comply with safety issues, especially with the outside. You can't really dig unless you get a mark out, and that's really what the email is all about. Um, you can email us once you become a homeowner and just request something, and um, the managing partner will get back to you. So again, check out our website, myhomeinharborcrossings.com, and Get started on the intake process for 11 Stanton or 3009 Fire Road so that we can give you the same house. Exactly the same on the inside, a little different color on the outside. Thanks again for stopping in. Please share, like, subscribe, and make sure you um, enjoy what we're offering here. It's our pleasure to give you really affordable, quality, innovative housing here in Atlanta County in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Thank you so much.